The following segment is sponsored by Plexiderm. Welcome to Fresh Off The Set. I know I'm a lot Mary of our Hoffman viewers Diaz, have taken the Plexiderm and I'm Burke Mingo. Thank you challenge. so much for Thank joining us for another exciting episode today. We're going to have some fun yet. today, Carrie. We're going to have some fun. Okay, I have a question for you. Instagram, when did you first open your account? Plexiderm 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 I am a grandmother of Instagram. I actually looked it up because I was curious when Instagram started and it's October 6th, 2010. And I think I started mine in 2010. I'll follow your lead on this because you're the real brand new like OG. You're the actual Pro. I think it was so right around early 2011. Well, let me tell you, you don't need that, but you're right. Are we Instagrammers? Yes. 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 Instagrammers? 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 Instagram or grandmothers? <laughs> like, I remember the days when you would use the filters that were in the app. Balenciaga made you look tan, XO Pro, or whatever it was. Nobody knows anymore, but this was there was even stories or reels. It was just a picture and you posted it. And that's what it was about. I mean, algorithm, that wasn't even, we didn't know what that meant. No, and there was no business aspect of it when I remember starting so right my now, Instagram there was no I, even like, the idea of making money off of being a social influencer that wasn't even a thing it was you posted you pictures of your dinner awesome or whatever you were doing we're on the screen and, right now and they were bad pictures oh my so photo quality if I look back it's did crazy all of to see where uh, cameras have gone awesome and like just everything has changed like everything's blurry and yeah and it's amazing as it looks because I'm purist I am too we're purists that's right I left mine I wanted to go back to my first post but I think I'm pretty sure I took a picture of my TV. Really show you yeah, that, that sounds about right. You <laughs> had a dog or something. I think they all of our models. But baby. you know, you know what? That's, bags, that's what we did. And it's changed so much. And now it's all about algorithms, reels, stories. She's the nicest lady you will ever want to meet. She came in, took the Plexiderm 10-minute challenge. And as you can see, she had the problem It's just a totally different round now because you can actually monetize. You can have a make it a business of people that are making, doing big business on Instagram and TikTok. And I wouldn't even call myself an influencer. Amazing with this incredible untouched video. Social media that you influencer, if you can even are call me that, because I don't even day asking if these like are I don't real? even do it anymore. I'm so <laughs> I like, yeah, this Scott, is my this kid really and my dog God. again. You know, I, I wish I could go back to that in a way too. When it was yeah, about the picture, it was about the videos of pictures you know, are worried about okay, how many how many likes is this going to get? How many followers am I going to gain because of this? And with really wish it back to just you're literally seeing people gain ten to twenty years on their appearance, but there's so much to be gained from this, and that's what's so exciting about our guests today. Is that we're really diving which, uh, into that kind of really business aspect of it and how you can back in the day in make money on you know, Instagram, how you can be a part of this algorithm right now, and how you can really monetize every yeah. area. and still have the fun while doing it because that's the whole point lines, of social media, right? Yeah, to Again, have fun, to bring good into the world, to spread kindness, which is still possible and people are still doing it, so that's a good thing. Alora interviewed Maya Nicole, she's an Instagram expert and business coach. She's talking about creators and what they can expect for 2020. Yeah, exactly, right. What you're saying, Scott, we were looking at some of these pictures which are amazing. Ladies, so and this takes us. 10 minutes, Help no us. doctor's visit. Is that right? <laughs> exactly. And it really became the go-to out in Hollywood. You know, the actors and the models, you know, in the makeup chair, they were saying, hey, you know, I what do you do to cover this up? So and uh, you I know, the makeup artist turned to this Nicole. as she a quick pick-me-up uh, for the coach. people sitting Truly, in their chair. And the reason why it's so effective it comes is because we've added peptides and collagen to the formula with our new serum, David. So when you're talking peptides and collagen, we're talking moisture in your skin, we're talking firmness. That's why this the product the is working on quicker than our prior. And on, on top of all this, Scott, you've got a great special company, offer for us. So where can we go for more information? Whether you are trying to become an influencer, everyone. Yes, yeah, this is our biggest discount ever. So again, some the point in their life, I swear. Ask themselves, how do I grow on Instagram? So I guess my first question for you, Maya, is people still grow on Instagram, or is it too late? So I guess my first question for you, Maya, is people still grow on Instagram, or is it too late? Be honest with us. Great to be with you, David. Thanks for having me. Please say hello to Terry. I will. Have a great day, brother. All right. The question that started my entire journey journey on Instagram. So I love this question. So to give some background on this in May of 2021, I asked myself the same question. I said, is it possible for people 